It's Splat Time, people! Yes, welcome to Splatalot, the magical, mythical kingdom where ten brave young warriors go head to head with those despicable defenders as they compete to capture the highly treasured Splatalot crown. Can the defenders keep the castle safe from the attackers? Or will our young warriors overcome every obstacle and find a new ruler for this messiest of kingdoms? One thing's for sure, there will be tumbles, there will be tilts, there will be teetering, and there will be splats! Hi, I'm me, you're you, that's that, so welcome to this. Could we be any clearer? Well, well it's funny you should say that, because today's splat lot is a magical, mythical, moonlit special. A magical, mythical, moonlit special? Yeah, so we might all be in the dark. Ten attackers will start the moat challenge in daylight. Six will go on to ditch the dungeon, but then night will fall and the four remaining warriors will compete for the Splatterlock crown in the moonlight. Doesn't that look amazing? Yes, it does, but more of that later. Let's get on with round one. We start proceedings with the moat challenge. The attackers start in the splatter pool, which hurls them towards a slippery slope. There they'll find the rolling mace and the impossible incline. The water blast guards the beastly battle axes. Which in turn leads to the bridge of disaster, which has to be crossed in order to reach the wavering warhead. Final obstacle before the finish line and a dry towel. But just to be splatful, here are some more obstacles. The defenders. Yes, each one is a mean, lean, keen, splatting machine. Apart from Thorn, he's just mean. And Vane, well, he's not exactly lean, is he? And Fatal, well, I suppose she's keen. <laughs> I'm focused. I'm angry. I'm hungry. OK, then, so more like a focused, angry, hungry splatting machine. Here are the defenders with their weapons. Thorn, Splatzooka, Vane, Slime, Fatal, Aqualizer. Here's Erica. I like ponies. <laughs> Hang on, that's nothing like a pony. No, this is a pony. <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? I'm a little hawk. Oh, great. Hey, Erica, I hear you like boy bands. I used to be in a boy band, too. Yeah, right. You know what my name was? What? Thorn! What a great story. You got nowhere in your career. That's why you're working here. I like this girl. Hey, there's nothing wrong with this job. I love my job. And the moat loves Erica. Joint. I just happen to like singing as well. Well, it's pop music's lost, Thorn. Hey, maybe he could have been in Take Splat. Well, Erica's only interested in one direction downwards. All right, I'll give you that one. Cool. Erica, I was in a boy band, too. Oh, well, this won't be good. We were called the Bacon Street Boys. Sounds yummy. It was delicious. Any other defender been in a boy band? Well, I doubt Mattel has. Flange Wongle, and to avoid any further conversation, Erica heads for the moat. This is where she realises she can't cope with Vane anymore, and in she goes. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh. Five, six, well, at least he can splat to the beat. Boom, <laughs> baba. And finish with jazz hands. Oh, please. Erica, why are you sporting the boy bands? Why not the girl bands? They're better looking. Haven't you ever heard of the splat girl? Is this really the best place to be discussing girl bands? Oh, Moogle! Your voice is gone again. Mm, still a little hoarse. Oh, maybe discussing girl bands wasn't that random after all. Erica's made it to the wavering warhead. Can she reach the finish line? She pushes off and... Oh, flopsy plat bams. But she eventually finishes with 756. Any more boy band gags to finish with? Uh, no, but how about Lady Goo Goo? Nice. science-loving Toby. Now, if we freeze the picture and add these scientific arrows... Yes? ...it still doesn't stop her falling in the moat. Right. Hey, Toby, did you know that slime's on the periodic table? Thorn blinds Toby with science. And that slime blinds her from another splat. See, in science, we call that an impossible incline. And you've proven that theorem for it to be impossible. Oh, I love it when the defenders think they're being <laughs> clever. Well, what he meant was, if a fast-moving body meets an immovable object in a downward trajectory, then the result is a fish flapper splat bomb. Let me show you what I like to the fatal formula. <laughs> First you run, then you splat, and then I smile. Ah, now that's the kind of scientific explanation I can cope with. I'm a winner! You haven't won anything yet, Toby. Here's Taylor. You can't touch me because I'm awesome! You can't touch me because I'm Thor. No, that makes no sense at all. Well, I have some eco-friendly slime for you. Yes, all the slime is biodegradable and comes out even in the cold wash. Oh, that's not a good method. That's not good at all. Oh, Huango! And Taylor's in the bilge. Well, nature-loving Taylor was right in one respect. Her splat was awesome. First a squat, then a lunge, as if she's about to do some shot putting, a brief sit-down, and then to round it off, moosh cronk. And Taylor's very happy with that time of 7.02. Here's Liam. Purple taco! Please, if you see a purple taco, don't eat it. Liam down the incline and wa-boom! <laughs> How do you spell head first? Now, Liam's splat fact says that he's bad at smelling. No, he's bad at spelling. So my gag about his splat being a stinker won't work then. No. Sorry, dude, I never learned to spell. Look at me now. 
Wesley and quite rightly decides not to look, but Papoodle! Well, he should have looked out for that gap between the axe and the bridge. But it all started when he slipped on the first axe. After that, he was heading for a spell in the moat. <laughs> very good, you've redeemed yourself. That's a very good time for Liam, 425. Cue the goo. And cue the next attacker. Yoda lay, 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 low, oh, oh, you lay, you low, you lay. Brilliant, Julia's our first yodeling attacker. I'll be the thorn in your von trap. Julie Andrews. Who do you think you are storming my castle? I said, who do you think you are? A tough question when you're falling off a rolling mace into the swan gopsy. Maybe that was a point. Maybe Thorne was setting a one trap. Can we stop these references to musicals, please? The hills are alive with the sound of splatting. Apparently we can't. Julia on the bridge and Dinky do dinner. You're lady, you're lady, you're lady. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. I thought you'd never stop. And our yodeler finishes in 6.44. Bring on the sheep. What? Well, sheep love a bit of yodeling, don't they? <laughs> or is it goats? <clears throat> Let's check out the leaderboard, shall we? Liam leads with 4.25, Julia has 6.44, Taylor 7.02, Erica 7.56, and Toby's got 10.43. So the next five attackers know what they have to beat, but that's much easier said than done. Ah, would this little collection of splats demonstrate the point you're trying to make? Yep, thank you. So, any thoughts on the first half? I mean, what about Thorn and Vane, eh? Oh, Vane, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, hey, dude, uh, I used to be the boy band, dude. <laughs> the Bacon Street Boys, dude. Yeah. Dude, 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 dude. dude. Uh, what's, what's up, pop? dude? You guys can't be disrespecting Vane, that's so totally uncool. You guys gotta be cool. You gotta be cool to the max, all right? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right. <laughs> Later, dudes. <laughs> uh, leaderboard? Leaderboard. <laughs> Right, Liam in first place is safe, but Julia, Taylor, Erica and Toby just have to wait and see. The defenders are back, armed, no doubt, with more nonsense. Let's meet Brandon. Happy Splat giving! Here he is on the slippery slope. Now, I could be wrong, but it looks like Vane's wearing oven gloves and an apron. This won't end well. Got my apron on. I'm ready. For what? Hey, Thorne, hope that haircut was free. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, it wasn't. All right. Well done, Thorne. Any chance you can think of anything funnier to say? Yes, have another go. You know, you're in Thorne's barber shop now, Brendan. How's this for a bowl cut? Swick it! Barbarous behaviour there from Thorne and a very hairy moment for Brandon, but he survived his close shave. Up here, dude, I'd like to welcome you to Vane's Kitchen. This kid wants a splat's giving, and I'm making a feast. I don't think Brandon's in the mood for food at the moment, Vane. Twaffle! And I doubt he'll want to drink too much of that moat water either. This is a good time for that? It's always a good time for food, Fatal. We've been through this. If looks could splat. And Brandon finishes in 5.26. That's good enough for round two. Roar! Brianna is yet another horse love up. Come on, Brianna. Trot for me. I like your hair, by the way. Thank you. But that's not the point. The point is to trot along. Brianna trots, then she drops into the plunge wongle. Maybe the running mace just said nay. Hey, I did a pony gags. But surely hay is for horses. Back to the course. I think you need to get your priorities in order, Vane. My priorities are in order, Fatal. Number one, key slime pie. Number two, splatting Brianna. Number three, you and I. Ooh. Keep it in the kitchen, Vane. You're good. Well, I think Vane has just put everyone off their food. Has he put Brianna off their oh, Olympic Bix? Thorne, I don't think Brianna has the horsepower. Oh, great. Even Fatal's doing the horse gags. Remember, I was doing them first. All right, calm down. You're ruining Brianna's moment. She's through to round two. You can't splat this. Down to get splatted? Well, then... Don't suppose he does, but it's bound to happen at some point in Nehemiah. How about now? Schnee puffle. It's supposed to stop there. Faye's right. We need this stop sign. How's that? Perfect. Thank you. Thorn fires, but no hit, no splat. I think that's about to change to Ludaberries. See, Nehemiah, you can splat this. In fact, there's a double splat as he gets an extra nudge on his way down to the moat. Splatting of the highest order there. But not a time to match. 8.29 might be too slow. Nice one. Saved by the spike. I'm last name Tastic, first name Fan. He must love his parents. Good afternoon, Mr. Tastic. Never a good sign when Thorne's polite. Do you know my friend, Mr. Tabulous? Actually, that's Justin's brother, who's also competed in splat a lot. These flowers good for baking, but it's also good for weightlifting. No slip on these bad boys. You're outrageous. Says the boy with the blue Woo. Mohican. Back to the battle axes. Justin. You're just in time for me to finish this recipe. He's also just in time for a mo trip. Spruce bonk. 
Well, Mr. Fantastic certainly lived up to his name. Fame should take note, as this is the perfect recipe for a splat de jour. And with that time of 6.57, Justin might just goo through. I have no idea! Neither have I, Ty. You have no idea? Then what are you doing on this call? Oh, simmer down. So, I will not simmer down! Thorn's boiling over. Aqua breakers. Nice shot, no shot. Wow, Ty simply shrugs it off and tosses it the mace. We've got a comedian in the house. Whoa, how'd you get here so quick, dude? You're interrupting my cooking show. No, Vane, he's attacking your castle, remember? Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to speed things up a little bit here. Tides onto the second axe now. Don't worry, I'll get him, Thorn. Oh, and Sprocket Box. And he's down. Okay, we can slow it down a bit here. Vital does quite the opposite as she opens up the Aqualizer. But once again, Tyke shrugs it off. Oh, and this is amazing. He swings and he's over. Oh, my gosh. What? Vital can't believe it, and neither can we. 154, Tyke is top dog. Oh. That's right. You simmer down. <laughs> Easy, Thorn. So Tyke sails through to round two, along with Liam, Brandon, Julia, Brianna and Justin. Well, what a way to complete round one. Well played, Tyke. But there's no rest for him or the other attackers, as round two is just around the corner. Actually, no, it's kind of uh, beneath the corner, because uh, we're heading down to the splash lot, don't you? Now, before round two, we would like to reenact Vane's cookery masterclass. OK, dude. Priority number one. Key slime pie. Priority number two, keep splatting the attackers. And priority number three, you and I, fatal. <laughs> <laughs> priority number four, revenge is a splat best served cold. <laughs> Being trained out of here. So, here's a reminder of the attackers who are through to round two. Julia, Brandon, Brianna, Justin, Tyke, and Liam. Back to the tournament, here's Ditch the Dungeon in more detail. Before ascending the loathsome ladder, the attackers must escape from the stock market and then make their way over the splat walk. It's then time to climb the ladder to the top, where four flags await the fastest four attackers. And awaiting the two losers is the slippery slide of shame. Also awaiting the attackers will be our next three defenders. Yeah, at least one of them won't be that loser vein. Mm. What was that? Oh, nothing, uh, Mr. Dude. I'm the Cucumber. Cook, you gotta love him. Scab! Scab, you gotta fear him. Medeva, baby! <laughs> and Medeva, you've gotta be kidding. The same attackers you meet on the way up! Are the same ones you spell on the way down! Well, I'm sure that makes perfect sense if you're a defender. So the attackers are in the stock markets. Brandon's in yellow, Brianna's in pink, Julia's in orange, Justin's ready in red, Liam's in the stripes, and Tyke's green for go. The defenders are also ready and armed with an awful lot of slime power. And they're off. Once out of the stocks, they make their way through the gate and across the splat walk. And here's where it gets messy. Attackers! Yes, Scab, they attack, you defend. Do you think he even knows what day of the week it is? Here comes the frothy foam, and now things start to get extra Together. slippy. You know what that means? What does that mean? Easy spray! Ah. Ah. Oh, pop, pop and sniff. Tyke gets a back splat. Hey, Tyke, what's nine plus nine? That's questions. Ooh, and Tyke slides in Julius Platts. Equals splats, apparently. <laughs> well, Scab might not be able to add up, but he can multiply one goo grenade with four attackers to produce an almighty pile-up. Yes, the defenders certainly have the upper hand at this stage. The attackers can't get past the bottom rungs of the ladder. Tyke slips, Justin trips, and Liam splats. Justin's down and so is Brandon. Remember, when life gives you lemons, throw them at attackers. That's the strangest lemon I've ever seen. Tyke's off his feet again, and once more, Liam suffers. Yes, Tyke keeps slipping, but he's yet to fall in the moat. Liam, on the other hand, has barely been out of it. Now it's Kookaburra's turn. Tyke slips again, but Brianna and then Julia end up in the moat. Well, if yodeling wasn't that popular before, it certainly isn't now. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Brandon's making steady progress. Oh, Trout's about. Scab splats him, and down he goes. Julia starts to climb the ladder, but I'm sure the defenders will spot her. Yeah, little girl! Let's see you Yodel for me, and you won't get a lemon in the face. Uh-oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I knew it! Look, the sheep have turned up. I told you they would. Terrible! Oh, and that's a lesson for us all. Never trust a defender. Who told you to yodel? That's not how you yodel. You yodel like this. He's multitasking, defending and yodeling. Hey, Ty, what's nine plus three? Yeah, I can't keep up. Yodeling defenders, sheep, math questions. It's all too much. The attackers agree. I will now summon the Ball of Doom! Not the Ball of Doom! 
just the very name strikes fear into the attacker's heart. You guys are so lucky. Not many people get to see the balls of doom. Here it comes. Oh, oh blabber moose! And Brianna's in the moat. Hang on, let's see a replay. Yes, unbelievably, Tiger spotted first, but yet again, he doesn't end up in the moat. But he still slid down the ladder. Liam managed to hold on. Whichever way you look at it, the ball of doom certainly lives up to his name. Kukames and splats Brianna. A delayed reaction, then down she goes into the muzzle wit. Tiger Slander loses his footing. Now is this the moment? Yes, he finally lands in the moat. Medeba continues with the slime attack. Media climbs, but the slime is too much, and down she goes with no sheep to break her fall. Did you say you wanted water, child? Don't answer, Brandon. Oh, wow, that slime ball was close. Well, if it wasn't already slippy enough, Mediva decides to hose down the ladder. And two more attackers head back down. Well, I can't see how this can get any worse. down the middle! Do you understand? Here's how. The next ball of doom is on the way. Doom! 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 Near perfect spot for the defenders. The ball of doom swept every attacker off their feet, apart from Brandon. He timed his leap to perfection and managed to stay upright. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel lucky? Huh? Oh, and scab prods Tyke, and down he goes, taking Brianna with him. Uh oh, he's going now, baby. Now Justin seems to be on his own on the ladder. Scab's run out of doom balls, so this could be Justin's moment to escape the dungeon. But the other attackers are catching him up, and the race is on. Brandon and Tyke take the lead. I don't think Medeva can stop them now. She throws a final bucket of slime, but Tyke, like so many times before, shrugs it off and claims the first flag. Brandon's not far behind, though. He gets to the top and secures the second place in the final. Now what's Scam up to? <laughs> Defending from long range, and it looks like it's worked. Julia slips back down into the moat. Brianna has held on, though. Justin's also there, but not for long, and he joins Julia at the bottom of the ladder. Thrax thwack. Brianna now joined by Liam, but she reaches the top first and becomes our third finalist. Liam's also over. That's it. Round two's complete. The dungeon has been ditched. Oh, unsportsmanlike behaviour from Scab there. Julia's lost her yodel and Justin's not feeling fantastic. So here are the four flag-waving attackers who've made it. Tyke, Brandon, Brianna and Liam. Well done indeed to our four finalists. They've bravely conquered two Splatlot challenges, but the day's not over for them yet. Well, technically it is. What? Remember, the final's going to be played at night. Yes. This promises to be one of the most dramatic and atmospheric finals in Splatlot history. All right, don't jinx it. Time now for Splats of Fame. Hmm, where we take a moment to celebrate some truly classic Splats. Splat a lot. Now, here's a splat stat attack with a twist. Obeying, dude. What's up, dudes? Hello there. Oh, could you do these splat stats for us, please? Wear that hat. Thank you. Off you go. <coughs> On average, there's nothing that separates Liam, Brandon, and Brianna. But the attacker in the best form by far is Tyke, who has finished first both times. Whoa, dudes. What was that? Did you guys just make me look stupid? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, here's a reminder of those finalists. As Vane just said, there's nothing between Brandon, Brianna and Liam, and even though Tyke is the favourite, they are all worthy finalists. Worthy? Whoa, dude. Those guys are toe cheese. Which reminds me, I have to eat before the next round. Hi, dude. Ghastly man. Back to our majestic course, which looks magnificent in the moonlight. The attackers start in the dire mire and head to the barrier of all barriers. Then it's the terrifying tease, which lead to the scary go round. Once on board, the attackers head over to the gruesome twosome. Then, if they survive the clobbering cannons, they head down the royal ramps and up the rock wall, where the shimmering splatterlock crown awaits. Remember, all six defenders take part in the final, and they look ready, even vain. But the attackers look ready too. Brandon's in yellow, Brianna's in pink. Pike's in green, and Liam's in the stripes. Don't nod off, Liam. The defenders have primed their slime weapons and are eating their tea, so the final is underway. The attackers head for the Dire Mire, which is even more dire in the dark. 
Brianna is first at the barrier and she's the first to make it over, but Brandon's there too. Have you noticed something different? Yeah, there's an attacker no, in the castle. Right. Brandon and Brianna at the tees, but Tyke's still struggling at the barrier. Brianna, you've got a bit of mud on top of yourself. Brandon makes a move, but twig plat, scab, splat, Brianna, and Brandon's in the moat. That all happened at once. Well, here it is again. Scab accurately splats Brianna, just as Brandon loses his balance on the terrifying tees. Fatal looks particularly surprised about that. Now it's Brianna's turn on the tees. She's teetering and tottering. What's with these attackers, huh? I don't know. How rude. The defenders are chatting whilst Brianna's splatting. Tights on the tees, but not for long. Here's Brandon leaping onto the scary go round. And Kook greets him with a goo grenade. He's made it to the annihilating arm. The defenders are reloading. Tyke takes advantage. Whoa, what a water blast. Tyke joins Brandon at the arm. Oh, look at him, they're like a couple. And the trouble is, a couple make a bigger target. Sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. So from a terrible tease to the terrifying tease, here's Liam, the crab seeker. Well, he tripped, slid, lost his shoe and splattered. On the bright side, at least he'll get his stripes back now. Brandon's about to leave, Thorn's about to vaporise, but he makes his landing. Brianna, it's Fatal, where are you? We've lost Brianna, I hope she's in bed. She's fine, but sadly the course has proved too much for Brianna. Now, can oh, Tyke join Brandon on the twosome? No, he can't hold on. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour, till the attackers start tumbling down. And right on cue, Brandon tumbles into the gungerella. Here's Liam at the arm, now he doesn't want to hang around here. Scab sees him, oh, hickey splots. A direct splat, and Liam's in a bit of bother. I'd like to welcome everyone back to Vane's cooking show. Here, have some. Oh, yeah. Not like Vane to give food away. <laughs> oh, and Tyke has clobbered straight into the moat. The chef isn't supposed to eat his own batch, but I'm very hungry. You're always hungry. And those cannons are always tricky. Yep, Tyke gets a moat full. And Vane gets a mouthful. Are you hungry? Really. I made this special for you. Aw, oh, yum! Enjoy! Oh, Prince Mishkin! Well, do you think Brandon enjoyed that? I doubt it very much. Liam leaps onto the scary go-round. He hangs on and decides it's time to go under the arm. <laughs> Brianna's still asleep. Has anyone told her she can go home now? Tyke has made it to the Royal Rams. He avoids a splat, but has lost a shoe. He's hanging on, though. But for how long with Medivh on the case? Now Liam's been here before, but this is a first for Tyke. Oh, Tlatrafar! Scam turns his attention back to Liam, but maybe he should concentrate on Tyke. Oh, Splat, no! Where you think you've gone? Well, the defenders are certainly concentrating on him now. Achoo! Oh, Kook's fake flu sends Brandon flying. Tyke's approaching the foot of the ramp. He's just about ready to leap again. He steadies himself, makes his move, and this time, he sticks to the wall. I can't see anyone stopping him now. The defenders look defeated. And they are, because Tyke's made it to the top. He's got the crown. You're too late, Coop, because Blacklot has a new ruler. Yes, all hail King Tyke. Wow, that looks amazing. And King Tyke certainly did justice to the setting. But the defenders didn't. Vane was still eating. Let's see who else bit off more than they could chew. Nehemiah from the Moat Challenge. He tried to keep his balance, but ended up with a double splat into the moat. Yes, the battle axes once Whoa. more take the credit for another top splat. You don't know how right you are, because here's our new King Tyke, who also took a good splatting at the hands of the axes. But he still won round one and two. The final raised a few questions, but he answered them all, and now he's our new ruler. My first act of King of Splatlot is to have one of you thrown into this swamp. I wish it could be all of you, but tonight I pick Thorn. What? <laughs> what? How dare you pick me? Oh, get it. So that's just about it for today. Hey, dudes, you want some pie? Leg it. That's really good. No, 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 Till next time, keep splatting. I will, and I will shove you. The thorn, you got